It's a beautiful day in the HGB. A beautiful day for some wrenching. <sighs> you smell that? That is the smell of some custom fabrication work, which is what we're probably gonna get into today in this video because we got Mighty Mouse in here. I got this push bar or brush guard I got for free. I'm gonna see if I can make this fit on Mighty Mouse. Now I already showed you guys this in the last video. This is off an Articat four-wheeler, I believe, probably an Altera. However, it fits the profile of this 500 quite well. And I think it will look pretty good on there if I can figure out a way to attach it without making it look all janky and slapped together. I think I've already found some attachment points, at least for the bottom there. So the trick will probably be find some way to attach it at the top where I can still remove it if need be, but it'll be stout enough to withstand getting hit by sticks and stuff. This isn't going to be put on there to where I can slam into other buggies with it without damaging it, but mostly just a brush guard and mainly for looks. I think it would look pretty good to have that on there. So mainly looks with a little bit of protection. So I think we'll be able to come up with something and some way to fasten that. So I'm going to get this light pulled off. So it's out of the way because I'll probably end up moving that to the front of the bar once it's on. We'll go from there. All right, so here is kind of what I'm thinking as far as placement. or a little crooked. I just have that on a block for now. But I think that will work pretty good for a brush guard. Now for the bottom here, I don't think it's going to be too bad. We have a hole right here. It's kind of washed out. Let me see if I can see better on this side right here that I think a simple bracket if you look here in the frame on both sides there's a hole right here so I think just a simple bracket from here to here two bolts will fix this up on the bottom so the tricky part is going to be how to fasten it here at the top because just kind of run into this bar piece here. Like I said, I don't really want to weld anything permanently. I do have the holes here where I had my light bar that if I could get a bolt through the back side, I could probably just do a simple L bracket right here and that would hold it. I don't know if I want to trim this any to set this on back because right there is out about where is actually already back from our factory push bar here and I don't want this set back any farther I just wish there was something a little nicer to do with that this will have this plastic piece on it I got to make sure to leave enough room that I can put that on there so I may actually have to go up a bit with it just have to ponder this for a little bit So there's the bottom brackets attached quick and easily. I think that's going to work nice because there's actually quite a bit of strength there to that. I'm pushing the whole buggy. So I think that's going to work quite well. She's pretty level right there. 
So now I just gotta come up with a little angle bracket, I think, for right in here. And that'll be good. Hopefully, just a simple hole here to here. And I might be able to reuse the same nuts and bolts I had my light bar attached with. Nothing fancy, simple, but effective. I think that's gonna secure her on there nice and tight. So, I'm gonna pop these back off, hit them with a little spray paint, and then we can bolt them on permanently. And I think I got plenty of clearance for this guy. Oh yeah, like a glove. Well, there she is, all mounted, guys. We got those two on right there. I got my bottom brackets on, looking good, besides being dirty for my dirty hands. And she's on there, gonna die. I think that'll work. I did decide to mount my light bar behind this plastic piece. As you can see, it worked perfectly. This bar had these little tabs that come up and were bent. I just drilled through here, took a piece of solid aluminum round stock and drilled a hole in it to use as a spacer on each side to lower this down. And that fits perfect. The nice thing is this is actually up high enough where I'm up above the radiator. You guys probably can't see it back there now, but the radiator starts about right at the bottom of this and goes down. So that shouldn't hurt any airflow. And with this on top, you can see we line right in the middle. So I'm going to go ahead and screw this plastic piece back on and we'll kill the lights and turn the light bar on and see how much of a, a glare we get in the plastic back in our faces in the cab, which is one thing I'm worried about. We'll find out. And again, guys, I can't believe how well that fits the profile of the 500. So if you've come across a, a push bar for an Articat Altera four-wheeler, you can fab up a bumper for your Pioneer 500 pretty easy. Let's turn the lights off and see how well the light bar works through this grill. Light off. I'm worried about how much it's going to shine on the back and blind. Oh, not at all. Not at all. You do kind of get the grid pattern there up close on the wall, but I think when you're out in the woods, you won't even notice that. And here's with the other headlights. They don't reflect too bad either. So, I think we'll be good. Woo, that's bright. There's just the light bar shining through. I like it. Just the headlights. Beautiful. I think that turned out very, very well and much added protection. That thing's not going anywhere. I probably would trust that as a winch point. Everything's painted up so it's pretty well hidden and it's pretty well attached to strong pieces of the frame. So, and this is thick pieces of angle iron I use too, so it's very strong. So that's very, very securely attached. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little custom brush guard install video, getting Mighty Mouse one step closer to where I want her to be, finally. Probably have to come up with some kind of new bed than what I had, because before I had the side mount toolbox with my bed, but now that I have my intercooler there, that won't really fit unless I push it way back out and have it hanging over. 
So I may come up with some new kind of box to go around there. We'll just have to see what I can play around with and do. Thanks for watching. Thanks for your support. I did tease around there in a post, if you guys didn't see it, about the next step we have to do with Mighty Mouse to increase your performance. We've done about all we can do with the turbo. It's pretty much doubled rear wheel horsepower. The only thing we got left to do, really, if we want to do something completely custom and unique is throw a bigger motor in this guy. Most of you suggesting the Pioneer 1000 motor, and that would be wicked in this buggy. Can you imagine 68... I can't quite remember what a Pioneer 1000 is. Is it 74 horsepower? Can you imagine 74 horsepower in this guy? With paddle shifters high and low, a dual clutch transmission. We probably have to cut the rear, stretch it out a bit to make room, but... I don't know, let me know in the comments below. Do you think the next step for Mighty Mouse is a full-on, complete engine swap? That would definitely be another world's first for Pioneer 500. I got the world's first Turbo Pioneer 500. So we'd go for the world's first Pioneer 1000 powered Pioneer 500. So let me know in the comments below, guys. Again, thanks for watching. And until next time, God bless and keep on riding.